All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show how to uh, kind of make a responsive design uh, with a line that follows along with text. And you'll see what I'm talking about in just a second. So let's say we've got the name John Smith here and we want a line that follows along with it with a gap about this far apart or any object really that follows this far. So if we change the name to Jonathan, the line would still have that same gap in there. So we'll, do, we'll use something called um, an anchor object. Now when you create an object, so that in this case I created a box, you'll see there's a little blue dot here on any graphic object. So right there, you've got that. If you click and drag, you see the cursor here? You can place it right in front of the J on John. And now wherever this moves, it is anchored to it. Now what it won't do just yet is move with the text going uh, with the right alignment there. So what we'll do is we will select the anchor right here. So now you can see it's turned into an anchored object. We'll right click on that anchored object options. So you could release it and it will no longer be an anchored object or you could click options. Now with the options selected, instead of the X relative to the text frame, we're gonna do to the anchor marker. You've also got page margin, page edge, and column edge. So all of those are really useful, but we're gonna do anchor marker. You'll see it shifted over this way. So we'll take the offset and move it up to where we want the gap. So let's say we want it right about there. Go ahead and click OK. I'm going to make my line a little bit smaller because I want my line to be that size. Now, if I type in Jonathan Smith or uh, any name in here, I get a responsive layout where that line stays alongside it. So that is a real quick, easy way to have a line move around, especially if you're doing something like variable data and you need that line to move back and forth. Okay, hope that helps.